Hey, good evening. How y'all doing out there? My name is uh, Anthony Peterson, aka Tony Pete, aka Bank, which stands for Born and Owned New King. And, um, what I'm doing today, I'm starting my new um, podcast. I'm uh, jumping it off live on Facebook, but it's going to transfer to something different later. Um, the name of this is called Broken Fragments. And the reason why I call it Broken Fragments is because it's derived from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. But um, let, me, let me open this up with prayer before we get into this. Lord, I thank you right now for the, this day and the opportunity that you have opened, Lord. Lord, I thank you for social media, God. I thank you for the airways, God. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to go into the highways and byways with your word. Lord, I'm careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Lord, we ask that hearts be opened up, that minds be opened up. We ask that um, soil be tilled, God, that your word may hit where it needs to hit, God. And he who has ears, let him hear, God. He who has eyes, let him see what your word is saying, Father, in the name of Jesus. I come against everything that's not like you now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I come against every stronghold, every demonic word curse that should try to come up and uproot the seed that is, that is about to go forth, Lord. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for that one person, God, that will hear God and that will pierce their soul, God, and meet them exactly where they're at, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for we're not a perfect people, God, but you are a perfect God, Lord. And with you working on the inside of us, God, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right. Now, what I'm saying is, um, welcome to Broken Fragments. It's a um, series that I'm going to jump off, and it's, it's starting today. Um, it's birthed from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1, which reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me and qualified me to preach the gospel of good tidings to the meek, the poor, and afflicted. He has sent me to bind up and heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the physical and spiritual captives and opening of the prisons and the eyes of those who have been bound. Now the reason why I'm doing this is with, with so much going on in the world today, people are hurting. Um, people are losing lives every day. Loved ones are being lost. Um, enemies are being lost and we don't have time to repair those relationships with those enemies. Um, man, the spirit of suicide is running wild. The spirit of murder is running wild in the name of Jesus. We, we, we are binded in the name of Jesus. Um, death and destruction is all around us. And, and, and sometimes it just puts us in a place where we're, we're lost and we don't know what the next move is going to be. But um, it, it, it makes the mind begin to wonder, um, does God even see me? Um, does God even hear me? Uh, uh, is God even paying attention to me? Uh, does God even see me at all? Does God even see what I'm going through? And, and it could bring you into a place of bewilderness and wilderness and um, bring you to this, 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 this state of depression. And man, when that state of depression comes upon you, it's, it's a dark place to be in where you feel like no one understands you. You feel like no one loves you. You feel like uh, you, you can't get into your words. You, it's hard to pray. And, and God just has so much different for our lives. And, um, we get into this place where we we, we, we wonder, we ask God, uh, why am I here? So, uh, why am I here, Lord? In a place where complacency has strangled my hopes and dreams. In a place where transparent sees me not. Why am I here, Lord? In fact, my transparency has abused and abandoned me. I'm paralyzed by the troubles of the day. The faucet of my eyes run endlessly, creating streams of emptiness that many have drowned in. Why am I here, Lord? I'm drowning in an empty place, in a place where my tears have become tainted and stained everything they touch. Why am I? Then I heard, look again. Tell me what do you see? 
I replied, Lord, all I see is death and destruction all around me. Look again, he said. Where you see taint, I see paint that's not yet dry. That's why you are here. I see a picture of beautiful pain that has I've allowed to drip beyond the canvas. I see you intensely. And I placed you in my intensive care. That's why you are here. My child, I am. I see you. I am your AM and your PM. Your emptiness is nothing more than a surging place that I've allowed to be swept clean today, my child. Lean not to your own understanding, for today is your miracle. For today, I am bringing you out of. I see you. And that's why you are here. The Lord is saying today, I see you. And I see you intensely. We look at the hospital. And there's the ICU, the ICU unit. That's intensive care where everything is, is, is pretty much roped off, where the, where the nurse may come in and do her work, where the doctor may come in and do his work without distraction because it's, it's in an intense place. Well, I'm here to tell you today that the, 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 the doctor is here, the Lord is here, and he's here to do an intense work. He sees you. He says that I see you intensely, and I know your heart. I see your heart. And all I desire you to do is pull the stony edges and the thorns and thistles out of your heart that I may plant on good soil. I see you intensely. And I placed you in my intensive care. <sighs> Lord, I thank you right now, Lord, for your grace and mercy, Lord. I thank you for ears that have heard, Father. I thank you for this segment, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for souls being saved, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you see us intensely, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now, God, for we come against the hand of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We come against the suicidal spirit now in the name of Jesus. We break your power right now by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take your hand off the Lord's people in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against depression oppression in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for setting the captives free, God. We thank you for opening the prisons now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. We thank you for having your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against wayward mindsets in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against double-mindedness in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against the, the ear, Lord, that is clogged up, that no longer hears your word, God. We come against Ah, we come against those things, God, that have gone into our spirits, God, that we cannot fill them with you any longer, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you cleanse us, God. We ask that you purge us, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. For the word says that when that evil spirit is cast out, that it goes into arid and dry places seeking rest. Now, why does it go to arid and dry places? Because there's no water. I speak living water in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The spirit of legion, when Jesus spoke to the spirit of legion, he told them to be cast out in the name of Jesus. Why did the spirit of legion ask to be cast into pigs? Because pigs is a filthy animal. Even though we pray over it, and God says that it's not what goes in us that defiles a man, but it's what comes out that defiles. So we eat the pig, but the pig is a nasty animal. So the spirit of the legion was cast into the pigs because it liked the water in the mud. It liked the water in his own filth. So when it was cast out, it drove it crazy. And what it did when it went crazy, it ran into the water. When it ran into the water, that spirit drowned because that spirit of evil cannot stand the spirit of the living water. Lord, I thank you right now for living water right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the rivers of living water in our belly now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch that person now with the name of Jesus, Lord, that needs that fresh water, Lord, that needs that fresh healing now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I speak the broken relationships in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for, hallelujah, Lord, for broken fragments. For broken fragments also represents your body. When you broke bread, you said, here's my body. That's broken fragments. Lord, I thank you right now that you take broken fragments and that you're making them whole now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to thank you all for tuning in. There's going to be more to come. Y'all stay with me. God loves you and so do I. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.